say that I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard him bring up I guess I got to work. Here bringing you guys another video to my channel. And today I'm bringing you guys my setup video. I wanted to wait until my new chair came in, but that's whatever. I'll just uh I can do it without the chair. The chair is nothing special. Just a regular black chair, so I think that I could go ahead and do this video without that. I've gotten a lot of things over the past few weeks that have drastically improved my setup, whether it's monitors, new consoles, uh, control freaks, fatal grips, computer upgrades, stuff like that. I've gotten a lot of things over the past few weeks that have really made a big difference, and I kind of wanted to show that to you guys. This is pretty much my final setup. I... As crazy as it sounds, the only thing that I could really purchase to make my setup any better than it already is, is a crap ton of stuff for my computer. Like, new CPUs, new graphics cards, even though I just upgraded my graphics card. Stuff like that is the only thing I could really do to improve my setup. So I am really, really happy with the way it is, and I'm definitely going to mess with it some more. But there's not a whole lot of purchasing left to be done. So I felt like this was a good time to showcase what I have and kind of let you guys see, you know, where I make all my videos, like this one right here, where I'm going to edit it and spend all my time and potentially stream in the future. I'll show you guys my planning board over here and how I come up with all of my ideas and stuff like that. So to start off the tour, I want to show you guys my decorations over here to the right of me. So this part of the room right here is par probably some of the stuff that I consider is the coolest. Um... I take a lot of pride in the things that I collect and my things that I'm interested in, and so when I can collect little knickknacks that have to do with that, it means a lot to me. So the first thing I kind of want to show is the Minecraft stuff down here. So I'm not as big into Minecraft as I used to be, as a lot of people aren't. Uh, I would definitely, I wish I could play it and upload it, but I, I'm not really in the position to do that right now, maybe in the future. But Minecraft was a really big part of my gaming history i suppose so it's a really big deal that i was able to get these and they mean a lot to me and then if you go up here to the pop figures and stuff like that this is pretty much some of the newest stuff that i have added to my game room collection game room slash office i have a lot of superheroes i like game of thrones as you can see sons of anarchy tv shows assassin's creed um stuff like that and then of course i have these call of duty pop figures up here which there are new ones added to this, and I will probably buy those sometime in the future. I don't exactly know when, but probably as soon as possible. As you saw in one of my most recent vlogs, I got this from Nick. It was at Walmart as a pre-order bonus, and he just brought it home. And then one of the coolest things to me here is probably this one right here. I made this when I was in, I think, 8th grade shop class. And I was such a nerd, guys, that I decided to make... A Modern Warfare 3 stick thing and I've kept it all of these years um, because it, oh god because it means so much to me and I don't plan on it going anywhere that little figure right there is a ghost action figure thing you know yeah. the other big part of my collections when it comes to my game room is my posters I've showed these off before but I have a lot a lot a lot of posters um, some of them have gotten ripped and torn like the Skyrim remastered one down here at the bottom i just put this up uh, but because it's so close to the door people run into it and it gets ripped and it's really upsetting i have my giant poster here red dead redemption under nightmare the og playstation 3 version of the gta 5 map i've kept that all these years um gta 4 liberty city stuff old very old poster the oldest poster i have in my room is that Modern Warfare 2 poster right there. That's the one that I started it all with. That's the very first poster that I ever purchased in my entire life, guys. And that's pretty crazy that I've managed to keep it all of these years. And then as you can see, this is pretty much my Call of Duty wall. I keep all of my Call of Duty posters here. Um, everything Call of Duty pretty much goes on this wall. It's pretty full, so it's slowly kind of transitioned over here. As you can see, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty 4 Remastered, um, and that's that's pretty much where that's gone to. I have a Black Ops 1 poster up there. Um, I had it down here at one point in time, but it, I didn't want it getting ripped, so I moved it. This stuff right here is another cool little knickknack. I've always wanted to collect every single one of those, um, but I have Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 3 patches. I just got these, which are the um, 
Quick Revive PS4 thumbsticks. I'm probably never going to use those because they are a collector's edition. I'm a huge fan of the Assassin's Creed series, so I collect stuff like that. I should kind of probably throw that away. That was a pre-order card for Black Ops 3. I just wanted the beta, and I just thought it was kind of a nifty card, so I kept it. Um, and then I'll show you guys Nick's setup here. He is pretty basic. He doesn't have a whole lot. Um, those are his games down there, and then his controller. And he has a BenQ monitor. He has... 840s. He just got the scuff in the mail the other day, as you saw in the vlog. He has a regular PS4, and he also likes to keep his boxes, as I do. I probably won't show you guys my boxes. Um, those are his G Fuel cups down there. He's got some main shot ones. That's my cat, Blossom. He likes her a lot. And that's pretty much Nick's setup. He's got this really old chair. The next thing I want to show you guys is the couch. You're probably thinking, why the couch? Why is that important? It's not all that important, you know? Nobody in the house really sits on this couch. The only person that sits, the only thing that sits on this couch is Jax. Right there. Jax. Look at me. Jax. That is his couch. He sits there while I play video games and he sleeps on the couch. And it's his favorite place to be in here when pretty much anyone else is in here. Opie likes to be on his own, so he's usually not in here. But I like to call that Jax's couch. That's pretty much his. He's the only one that really uses it. So I would hate to get rid of it because he enjoys it so much. He can kind of see out the window a lot of the time and stuff too. So that matters a lot. That's really important to me. Because as you guys know, Jax is the homie. So moving on over here to the doorway, I have my hat collection. I collect a lot of hats. I wear hats anytime I go outside. I have some really old ones here from years and years and years ago. You can't really see them too well. But I probably have a total of maybe 15, 20 hats somewhere in there total. And there's been hats that have been ruined over the years and I can't use anymore. Um, but yeah, I do have a lot of hats. The next thing I want to show you guys is the G Fuel Collection, which is new and recent. We've been working on building that up. Um, we have... Tropical Rain, Phase Berry, Lemonade, Blue Ice, and Two Fruit Punches. We're probably going to buy more of these in the future. Most of these are Nick's. The only ones I own are these three on the top, I believe, and he owns those four on the bottom. Um, but I really do like all three of these flavors. Not a huge fan of Phase Berry, and Lemonade is okay, but, I mean, it's just kind of lemonade, so, you know, who, who really knows? This is my mini fridge, which I've shown this off before. Nothing too impressive. There's nothing in there right now. Uh, but I kind of collect stickers. I got some Minecraft stickers. Control Freaks, Apple, Razor, um, Mad Cats. I don't even know what that's from. Airsoft stuff, Beats, Elgato. Got that stuff on there. Pretty nifty once again. Nostalgia, collecting all that. These are the only pair of gunners I ever purchased in my entire life. I've done a review on these. I'm not going to go into it. You can watch the review on your own if you really want. And this, I have a picture of my, my dog, Jax, my main man. And then I have a Call of Duty Ghost pre-order card and a GTA 5 pre-order card. So those are just kind of nostalgic. I mean, that's from when I pre-ordered those games. It's pretty cool. It means a lot to me. I keep a lot of little knickknacks because it's cool to think back to the, um, the past, basically. These two right here, these plushes, plushies, however you, call, however you pronounce it, uh, these are Minecraft. This is a mushroom. This is a pig. If you play Minecraft, you obviously know that. Uh, my girlfriend got me both of those, I think. Maybe just one of them. Um... And that's really cool to me. She likes Minecraft. She likes watching me play it. And so that's why I keep them um, up here on my fridge so I see them every day. This is a turtle shell. <laughs> kind of a cool story behind this. This is a turtle shell that I found while I was camping for, I think, the first time ever with my current girlfriend. Um, and I was out in the woods behind our tent, and I found this turtle shell in perfect shape. It wasn't broken, nothing. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming it died and just kind of decayed out of the shell. But I thought it was cool. We've kept it all these years. It's been like two years since we found that. So that's what that is. Right here is my board. This is where I do all of my planning. Nothing up here is set in stone though. So keep that in mind if you look at this and you're like, oh my god, this is going to happen. Not exactly. So I'll kind of run through everything. This will give you an idea of what's going to be on my channel potentially. And you guys can decide how much you really want to stay subbed, I guess. This could hurt my channel, I suppose. Anyway, so um, on Mondays, which is tomorrow for me, I'm recording this on Sunday, you'll be seeing a gun game video hopefully every single week. In the future, I plan on streaming 
Um, Tuesdays, which is the day you'll be seeing this video right here, I believe, the day it's uploaded anyway, you might see it after that. Don't really know what I'm going to be uploading consistently on Tuesdays or be making. I have some ideas. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, on Tuesdays, I record podcasts at 7 p.m. That might change the day, the time, however it ends up working out. Record um, Rushing Route Guides, which will be uploaded on Wednesdays. I plan on making Zombies videos on Wednesdays and uploading them Thursdays with Nick because we really like Infinite Warfare Zombies. Thursdays, I plan on making Top 10s and uploading them on Fridays. And then I plan on vlogging on Fridays after I upload my top tens and publishing those on Saturdays like you guys saw a couple days ago. And so on and so forth. As you can see, make casual commentary, which is my political talk that I uploaded today, which is Sunday, which is two days from when you're seeing this. Upload that here, record gun game, and then it goes back over here to Monday. So that's pretty much my board of things that I do and plan on doing. This right here is a drawn picture of Jax by somebody who used to live here, and I've kept it there ever since, so that's, that's pretty much it. So now, let me turn this back around for you guys. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video, because I'm sure you're like, you're droning on about all these little knickknacks and things in your room, and I don't care about that, I just want to see the computer, just want to see the PS4, just want to see the controller. And that's what we're going to get into. So, here we go. Right here is the setup. This is where it is done. I sit in this chair right here. And I edit videos on these computers. Listen to music. Play Call of Duty. Potentially stream in the future. And if I'm going to be completely honest, the two things that I am the most proud of when it comes to this setup is, first of all, this microphone stand. This right here, I really, really, really value that. I just got that a couple days ago. I've always wanted one of these, and it's really cool to be able to say I finally have one. So that's the first thing. Then the triple monitors, and then something I'm currently working on that's not 100% finished. Don't know how much I'm going to do or if I'm just going to move around, but the lights. As you can see in the back, I have LED lights that go around the back of my desk. They're not as bright as I want them to be. I spent a lot of money on them, so I'm going to mess with them a little bit more. Um... I might attach more lights to them and then run them up behind my monitors or underneath my computer or something like that. Don't really know yet, but I will just have to wait and see. Now over here, we have the mix amp for my Astros, which are right here, the TRs. And then I have my scuff, which you guys have seen before multiple times in videos and reviews and stuff. And then the PS4 Pro, which I just recently got. Another funny story. Kind of upsetting, not as much funny as upsetting, is I bought this PS4 Pro with this monitor right here, which is a Samsung, I don't know, a 2015 Samsung 4K monitor. It was like 400 fucking dollars, right? This was $400. I bought it, set it up, can't even get 4K from my PS4 to that monitor because PS4 does not support 4K from that monitor, apparently. So I'll probably have to buy another 4K monitor or TV in the future, and uh, <laughs> if I buy a 4K anything, I'm mostly just using it to play like pretty games, like the campaigns of Call of Duty or um, Watch Dogs 2, something I'm playing right now, or Tomb Raider, and if I get any of those things, then it's going to go right up there. I'm going to mount a TV right there, move those like three or four posters that'd be in the way someplace else, um, and then I would put an HDMI splitter going up there so I could play 4K games up there and relax and chill. Uh, and that's pretty much the main plan. This keyboard right here, really cool. I just got this recently too. I like the sound of it a lot. Mechanical, it's a Razer keyboard. Don't know the name of it, but it's a Chroma. It matches my mouse right there. And I have the Razer mouse pad, as you can see. Now moving on over here to the computer, I have a CyberPower insert large name of computer here. I don't really know the name of it. But I've done a lot of upgrades. I've put more RAM inside of it. I've put a new graphics card, a new power supply. And in the future, the next upgrade will be a CPU. You can see the front of it. It's lit on the inside. <laughs> lit. Um, here's my Xbox 360 that I never, ever, 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 ever use. Uh, I bought it for classic Call of Duty games. So that way I can go back and play Black Ops 2 and stuff like that. I did a gun game episode probably about a month, month and a half ago, where I went back to Black Ops 2, and um, I played that, which was really fun. 
this is what controls my lights back there and that's my, my modem and router etc nothing too interesting there the last thing that I want to show you guys before I wrap up this um, setup video is I want to show you guys my games as you can see down here I have Mafia 3, Tomb Raider, 2K17, Advanced Warfare, Batman, Minecraft, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, No Man's Sky, Call of Duty Ghosts, and so on and so forth. The thing about those is I don't have all of my games there. Some of them are at a friend's house. I let them borrow them, which I don't typically do, but some of the games are at a friend's house, and so that's all I have right now. But I, I don't have GTA 5, and I don't have Battlefield 1 down there, and that's pretty much it. <coughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that this was interesting for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed um, watching this and could see exactly what I use on a day in and day out basis to make my quality of videos and do what I enjoy doing. So the video series is going to be one of the last videos that I made. Twitter and Facebook links will be down in the description as always. Please remember to like and subscribe. Use code NFAM for 10% off of any Fatal Grip orders. There's also a link down there for Catalyst Mints if you would enjoy purchasing that. Yeah. Yeah.